Gilman reporting for Katie Chats here at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto with the director of photography, Kyle Marchin. How does it feel to have the film that you DP'd, The War at Home, here at Hot Docs? Uh, it's, to be honest, it's like a little crazy because, I mean, like, I'm only second year uh, film student right now and for our film to get into such a prestigious film festival, we were all, the whole crew was kind of just flabbergasted. That's the only word we can come up with, really. So, How did you meet Andrew and start collaborating with him? Um, it actually, like, uh, we, we have classes together, and um, Andrew and uh, Shane Magley, who were our producer-director team, they had, uh, they pitched the doc to our year, and then it went through to be made into production. And uh, I just emailed Shane and I said, I would love to work on this doc in any capacity you need. And uh, I listed what I was felt comfortable doing, and one of them was cinematography. And he decided to take a risk and make me the cinematographer, and I think it paid off. So, <laughs> yeah. You were dealing with some serious subject matter, post-traumatic stress disorder. Sure. Were there times when you were behind the camera that were particularly emotional for you? Definitely. Um, the big thing with dealing with... Uh, with such a sensitive topic with PTSD and dealing with someone who suffers from it so severely is, um, and Andrew, our director, had to deal with this a lot more than any of the rest of us because he was the one asking Chris, uh, our, our main subject, Chris, all the questions. And uh, you, you, you really have to tread lightly because if you say one thing wrong, it could upset him. It could, like, not to paint the wrong picture of him, he just, it's a, it's a very touchy subject and it's something that I think Chris is good at talking about, whereas a lot of people aren't. So for us, it was, it was, it was a very touchy subject for sure. But I think, I think Andrew did a great job at dealing with it. And we all handled it very maturely. Um, as for tense moments behind the camera, I think, I think the whole time we were a little worried uh, just about, again, saying the wrong things. And uh, when we shot on, uh, at FB Borden, which is an army uh, base, we were we were just a little like we didn't want to get in the way of anybody because it's all everything's so structured and we were kind of like intruding on their space so there were tense moments but it was never at the point where we were like worried about not getting what we needed so and in terms of the cinematography is was the style something that you discussed with Andrew previously and when you're dealing with a difficult subject does that alter the way you shoot um, me and Andrew definitely we, we went over ideas and I had ideas, he had ideas, um, the whole crew had ideas, and then we kind of came up with the style um, unanimously and executed it really well um, when we got on set. But the big, the big thing with uh, Chris being a, like, we were in his house during his in the interview, so when we were doing lighting setups and all this, it was almost like we didn't want to take too long. We didn't want to, because it's like we're we're in we're in his 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 home like we don't want to impose on anything we were just filming he was doing us a giant favor and so it he never once like he never made it feel like that I think we were disciplined in the fact that we didn't want to make him feel like he had to tell us that we were like had to hurry up or anything like that so we were pretty efficient I guess how much did you know about PTSD before shooting and what have you learned since shooting to be honest, I actually, going into this, uh, in, in, into the doc, I had almost no knowledge on it. Um, I knew the general kind of what it was, like most people, but I didn't really have an extensive knowledge on it. And I think after spending time with Chris and then spending time researching and just, just the countless amounts of like sitting, looking at the footage, looking over war footage, which was the most powerful um, stuff to go through. It, it really, it, I, I, I'm confident that I, I, I have a full grasp on it now compared to going into it. But yeah, going into it, like, uh, I, I really wasn't, I was actually, that was a big worry for me. I was worried that it would show and that Chris would get almost offended maybe, but it, it went all right. So <laughs> has Chris seen the film and what did he think? Uh, Chris has seen the film and, uh, I, I haven't spoken to him personally since we've, uh, shot, but he, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I've been told that he told our producer that it went, that he really, really enjoyed it, um, which is, I mean, a big thing because he's the main subject and if he doesn't approve, we kind of have issues. But um, 
no, he, he seems to really enjoy it and he, he likes the film. So. And do you hope to make more documentaries in the future? For sure. Um, I think like going into this, I, I had no idea about the structures of documentary. And, and with Humber, they've taught us um, like how to structure. And going into it, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. I always felt like I'd be more of a, uh, like I wouldn't be doing a documentary style stuff. But um, after, after shooting the doc, I realized just how impactful and how the stories and documentaries can be just as, if not way more powerful. And it's, it's, it's a pretty, pretty cool medium. So I definitely would love to work in it again, yeah. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and on the film online? Um, right now, we are still currently working on a website, but um, the Hot Docs website has a mini page for us. Um, we have a trailer. I believe we're going to be having like a Facebook page put up, um, and you'll find that at home. And as for me, uh, as I'm still a student, I haven't officially done anything, so maybe in a few years. Coming uh, soon. Yes, coming Thank soon you. is the proper, yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations, yeah. Kyle, and Thanks. best of luck with the film and your upcoming projects in years to come. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto.